In this video tutorial, I'll be covering how to create new quick text messages that can be sent to your tenants. To do this, we'll go to Tools and then Word Processing. We'll need to scroll down to the Quick Text section in Word Processing. If we expand this section, we can see the default templates that are already in place. To create a new one, we'll click on the word Quick Text so that it's highlighted in blue and click the New button. We'll type in a title. In this case, I'm creating a payment past due text message. And then click Design. The system will insert some basic text that we can use as an example. So we'll go ahead and keep some of this text and we'll edit other portions. I'll double click to open the editor. It currently reads a friendly reminder from facility name we have not received your payment that was due on the first. Now, if my facility is not a first of the month facility, this may be incorrect. So what I want to do is include a variable that says paid to date. If we look at the quick store knowledge base, there is a section on word processing variables. I want to find um, the variable that says paid to date. And that'll be here, rent due day of month. That's the day of the month that it's due. So in brackets, rent day of month. So I'll go ahead and insert that. Just as it appeared on the knowledge base. And then I'm going to say a late fee of $10 was applied to your account. Please pay as soon as possible to avoid other fees, additional fees. Your balance is, and then again I'll use the knowledge base to insert the tenant balance, and that is tenant balance. And then I'll leave the phone number and the website where they can pay online. I'll go ahead and click the check mark. I'll click save and then close. Now we've created a payment past due quick text that we can now send to our past due tenants. I'll go ahead and close out of here and show you how to schedule that with the CRM module. So go to close and then I'm going to go to favorites quick CRM setup. I'm going to add and we're going to use this based on the paid to date. So I'll click paid to date. I'll title my event. I want to go ahead and make it active. The letter I'm going to use is the text that we just created, payment past due. We're going to send this after the paid to date. And also because this text message assumes after the late fees apply, I'm going to send it after whatever late fee has applied. So if my facility applies late, late fees on the sixth day of the month, for example, I may send this on the seventh. I'm going to go ahead and click a start date of today. And I'm going to leave end date blank. I'm going to apply it to current tenants, tenants who are currently renting at the facility and send it as a quick text and then click OK. And we can see that it's scheduled here. Now anytime a tenant becomes past due, it'll send out this text message automatically seven days after their paid to date. Keep in mind that this assumes that we've already sent them a text message saying that a friendly reminder notice that they're that they're going to get a late fee. So here in the settings we have it set up a friendly reminder before they're paid to date. A late fee reminder you could send out just after they're paid to date. They've already become delinquent but their late fee hasn't applied. And then this one that we created today was their payment past due. The late fee's already been applied and reminding them to pay before any additional fees are incurred. The possibilities for quick text are inlets. So you could do holiday hours, you could notify tenants of new construction, you could notify tenants of specials, um, 
bring a friend and, and get a month free, whatever you want to do, the quick text is only limited by your imagination. Hope you've enjoyed this video.